Hello everyone. I hope you already registered for the US exam. If you haven't registered yet, you can register for the late registration, which will be on 26 to 28 uh, March. So you can stay register uh, following the same procedure as a normal registration. So you can only register during that registration period, uh, not before, not after. If you want me to make a video for the how to prepare for the US exam and uh, this video, go just comment yes. So I know some of the students who took the exam previously, so I have I will ask from them and if there are many of you guys who wants to watch it, I will make a video for them. After the registration, they will not give you your exam document uh, paper yet. Uh, uh, that exam document paper has all the information about your exam hall, exam location. During the registration, you select for one exam center, which is your preference. Uh, but uh, if there are less number of uh, candidate uh, applicants in that exam, like 15 is the minimum. If it is less than that, they will decide for you where you will take your exam. You will know about all the exam center and exam hall room two weeks or 10 days before your exam date. In the, the US exam website, uh, I will show you the website in the uh, description down below. And two weeks or 10 days, uh, it depends on different year, uh, they will make an announcement saying that you can check, you can download your that exam document in your the account that you use for your application. Uh, only after they make an announcement, you can download your exam document. If you click on the TRUs one, which is for this year, 2024, you see there is an announcement for registration. There is no other announcement yet. So if you click on TRUs two, which is for the 2023, they already make an announcement for the exam result and also for the the exam document entrance document. So you will see something like that for this year as well and go to the same the application website uh, with the same uh, your account number and password and then you can check your exam entrance document under my exam application so you will see the document over here i haven't done anything yet so nothing so on the exam document uh, paper it will write you your exam center and also the exam hall I'm not sure about the, uh, the seat number, probably they will uh, tell you on, on that day, like in front of the exam hall. So you will bring your exam documents and also your ID, ID card. On that paper, uh, it also have your photo. So make sure your photograph of that paper is clear. So you can download it in color or you can download it in black and white, but just make sure the photo is clear on that documents, in that exam entrance documents. And don't write anything on that paper anymore. And you will be disqualified. For your ID, it should be photo ID. Photo ID means the ID should include your photo, such as like national ID, the original one, or your passport and expired passport. So they don't accept like student car or any work, uh, you know, staff car, nothing. Just the national ID or the passport. What you should not bring to the exam building. So firstly, you will go inside the building. Before you go inside the building, they will check your bag or, you know, security checking. So they will not give you any locker or anything. So you cannot leave your staff. So if you come with your friends or your family, maybe you can live with them. Just go with you know simple clothing and you don't need to bring your bag or wallet earrings rings bracelet necklace no metal no sunglass just uh, power classes okay and water water should be only in plastic bottle you know the clear one not your own bottle and no calculator no watch even no electronic devices and nothing mobile phone no stationery they will give you your stationery a case with pencil, two pencil and one sharpener, eraser and tissue also. Make sure you go to the exam hall at least one hour before. They will close entering, you know, accepting a student inside the building. 15 minutes before, they will close everything. I'm not sure if the exam time will be included in the, the exam entrance document. The exam will start in the exam hall in the most of the country uh, at 11.15 a.m. in the morning, the Turkish time, okay, Turkey time zone. So you can just uh, go change it into your country time zone and uh, it will be your exam time. Except these following country, they have their own exam time, local time of the country.
Then you will check your seat number before entering the exam hall, okay? And then, uh, first of all, they will give you the exam answer sheet. And the exam sheet has uh, your photograph, your information, your name. After that, they will give you your the pencil case and sharpener, napkin, eraser in a, a pencil case. After that, you fill your necessary information in the answer sheet. After that, the proctor will give you your question booklet. Now the question comes. Not everyone have the same question booklets. They have the same question, but the order of the question are different. The answer sheet also, the order is different, the question order. From your booklets, the exam question booklet, there are like number. You have to write that booklet number onto your answer sheet. Like on the answer sheet, you have to like a thick, like so just circle, circle, circle the number, exam number, the exam booklet number. After that, they will let you uh, start the exam. Before they ask you to start the exam, you cannot start, you know, writing your exam. Just fill up your necessary information first. The exam will be like 100 minutes. So the first 75 minutes, you cannot leave. Even though you finish, you cannot leave. After 75 minutes, you can leave if you finished. And for the last 15 minutes also, you cannot leave anymore. Okay. During that time, you cannot leave for the uh, toilet break or nothing. Okay. You can only leave uh, after 75 minutes before 15 minutes exam finish. And you can submit the paper and then leave. And you are not allowed to leave for the break. Then on the exam answer sheet, don't write anything on the back of the answer sheet. The answer sheet should be clean and just circle the answer. Okay. Multiple choice. Uh, in the question booklets, back of the question booklet you can write to uh, solve the question only on the exam paper make sure you circle the correct answer carefully okay don't circle just half okay because this is a circle and you have to you fill the circle you know, with pencil right because they will use the optical reader to mark your grade if you mark it uh, roundly and you use eraser just erase it completely okay don't leave it like a gray area like that erase it very clean because the optical reader will consider as a correct answer if it is something left over uh, the exam question is 40 iq test and 40 uh, basic mathematical tests iq test is like 0.45 percentage for the basic mathematics is 0.55 percentage if the, you have a, an incorrect answer if you do it for four incorrect answer you get minus one so if you only have one incorrect answer they will subtract one over four quarter okay there is a negative gradient they will do calculation they will do the weights but the final score will be 100 between 100 to 500 the university uh, normally asks for the grade between 325 until 440 something for the you know the medicine has very high use exam or even normal uh, SAT or the the high school grades like very high for the medicine and all these science grades it is depending on the university you have to check the university website and see the minimum grades for them after you finish your exam three weeks or one month within one month or three weeks they you can check in another website so i will give the website link in the description down below in the website and uh, they will make the announcement so once it is announced they will say you can now check your result in this link for the exam result for the your exam document and trans document they will not send you anything to your email they will make an announcement after that they you have to go and check it in the specific website that's it Thank you for watching. Good luck in this exam. See you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.